Hey guys, this is Laura from Pearl Soho, and I'm going to demonstrate how to work short rows using a wrap and turn technique. Short rows are used to create triangles or wedges within your knitting, as you can see here. It's a um, shaping technique that's commonly used to turn a heel of a sock or to create a nice smooth slope along the shoulder of a sweater. Okay, so I've knit across this swatch to just past halfway point, and I'm gonna demonstrate how to do a wrap and turn on the knit side or the right side of this fabric. The first step is to simply slip this first stitch purlwise from the left needle to the right needle. The next step is to take your working yarn from the back of your work between your needles to the front of your work. The next thing you're gonna do is slip that slipped stitch from the right needle back over to the left needle, and then, once again, move your working yarn, this time from the front of your work to the back of your work. Now that we've completed all the wrapping steps, the only thing left to do is turn. So keeping your orientation how it is, just switch the needles in your hands, and when you do that, you'll see that your working yarn is here on the near side of your work, and you're ready to purl, begin purling across this row. I'm gonna take a few purl stitches, and then we'll go into how to do a wrap and turn on the purl side of the fabric. So here I am, ready to do a wrap and turn on the purl side or wrong side of this stockinette stitch swatch. The first thing I'm gonna do is use the tip of my right needle and slip this first stitch purlwise from the left needle to the right needle. The next thing I'm gonna do is take my working yarn from the front of my work between my needles to the back of my work. Then I'm gonna bring that slip stitch back over to the left needle from the right needle and move my working yarn from the back of the fabric between my needles to the front of the fabric. And once again, now that I've done all the wrapping steps of this wrap and turn, all that's left to do is turn. So I'm gonna just switch the needles in my hand. And here you can see my working yarn is in the back and I'm ready to knit across this row. So here I've knit across this row until I've reached this wrapped stitch. This was the stitch I wrapped on my previous right side row. What I need to do is pick up this wrap. You can see it right here. I wanna pick up that wrap and knit it together with this wrap stitch. So this is, here's how you do it on the right side. I'm gonna insert the tip of my right needle into the wrap, knitwise, as if to knit. And then I'm gonna stick my needle into this first stitch, as if to knit, and then I'm gonna knit these two together. When you do this, your wrap should fall to the back side of your fabric and it'll be hidden from view. Picking up the wraps also closes any tiny holes that might appear during the wraps and turn portion of this technique. So I've purled up until I've reached this wrapped purl stitch. This is the stitch we wrapped on that previous purl row we worked. Um, and the goal here is the same. I wanna work the wrap of this stitch together with the stitch itself. Um, it can be a tiny bit trickier to identify the wrap on the purl side of the fabric, but here I'm pointing to it with my thumb here, and this is the back side of the wrap I just put my needle through, so just wanna identify the wrap. So in order to work these together, I'm gonna insert the tip of this right needle into the back of this wrap here, and then into this first stitch, all purlwise, in order to purl these two together, like so. And when you do this, that wrap will fall to what is like the near side for you right now, but when you turn the work around, it'll be on the wrong side of the work. In any case, now I'm ready to just continue purling. I have a bonus clip. I wanna show you guys how to work or pick up a wrap stitch that's been wrapped on the wrong side, but is then picked up on the right side. Um, let me explain a bit more. So you can see here, I have a top-down sweater started. I threw it on scrap yarn, so it lay nice and flat. I've worked a number of short rows here to shape 
um, around this front neckline area. And my last short row, I worked on the wrong side row. So I wrapped this stitch, I turned my work, I've knit all the way back around, and now I'm about to encounter this wrong side wrapped stitch, but I'm gonna encounter it and pick it up on the right side. Let me show you how. So I've knit up to this wrapped stitch. The first thing I'm gonna do is use the tip of this right needle to kind of pick up that wrap. Just, I'm just slipping this right needle into the front of that wrap, and I'm gonna place it on the left needle. Now, when you place it on the left needle, you'll wanna kind of get it, it'll go there naturally probably, but you just wanna get it so it's it's the actual stitch first and then the wrap next. The next thing that you're gonna wanna do is slip this knit, this stitch, the actual stitch knitwise, and then slip the wrap purlwise. Then insert the tip of the left needle into the front legs of both of those stitches, both the wrap and the stitch and now just knit them together. And when you do this, you'll find that the wrap perfectly falls to the back of your fabric.